Hello, today we are going to expand our form a little bit. And the reason why we're going to expand it is we're going to add some functionality to it. So up to now we have this lovely test one, test two, test three. Okay, not the most professional, but um, it got the job done because it allowed us to average three tests. But as you probably know, <clears throat> in your homework, um, in your uh, essays, projects, etc., you always have these different categories of grades when you t take a class, and they're usually weighted different. So we're not going to do the weighting today. But we are going to set this up so that we can do it easier when we get to that spot. And we're going to do this through radio buttons, list boxes, and check boxes. Actually, scratch that one of those three things. Um, that's the, what's going to be what we're going to do is up to you. And let's start this off real simple and just say, okay, we have a class where we have homework and we have tests. <clears throat> we'll keep it simple like that. We can always add to this later. And that's the beauty of it. And from here, we'll, what we'll see is, like what I said before, a checkbox. So checkbox one, checkbox two, which we can change the names of. So checkbox two can be homework. And checkbox one can be tests or test. Now, um, here's the thing. Uh, we really should change these property names, but I'm not going to do that yet because we have to decide which one we want. So I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. And now I think I said radio button, so let's go ahead and look for the radio button from the toolbox. And I'm going to drag and drop it right here, radio button one. And we're going to call that test. And I could copy and paste this, but um, what I want to do here is um, put another one in right here, radio button two. And we're going to take homework. And before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm going to do the third option, which is the, uh, well, I like to call it the drop down, but they're going to call it the list boxes. So let's go ahead and bring a list box down here. Oops, and I accidentally dropped it. And in the list box, you're going to see a list of different things that you can pick. In our list box, what we're going to want to do is add these components, the test and the homework, later. So in this, we're going to have a test and homework, and we can make it about this big. Now here's the advantages and disadvantages of it. If I hit start right away, this is going to show you the big problem with test and homework. Rarely do you have something that would fall in the test category and the homework category when you're talking about your final grade. Um, I would, uh, so I would suggest not doing it this way. However, these next two choices are viable. Um, when you notice when I click on the test and the homework, um, only one can be selected. This is good. This is great for type, type of user error and mistakes that can be made. So the student or whoever is using this has to put in only one value and you can't throw off future code. And likewise with the um, list boxes, you can only have one selected at a time. So actually let's go into the list box and do that first. And I'm going to go to items here in order to uh, fill that collection up. So I'm going to type in test and then homework and click OK. 
and then you should see it. You can I, I, later on. I'll show you another way where you can use the, the ad, um, an ad statement to to add to this text, this listing. But right now, let's just do it there. Keep it nice and simple and straightforward. And again, let's go ahead and hit the start button. And notice, I can only cl uh, click on test or homework in this situation. I'm gonna move it down a little bit just to get that test. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're not going to. Only one of these three can survive, so we're going to we're going to skip out of that. In fact, I would suggest go ahead and just deleting that as well. So now the next question then becomes, um, how can we use them? Well, let's just do a simple setup for both, and we'll use an if statement for one and a switch statement for the other. We can just set these up for future use. So remember probably we still want to uh, start in the continue button so let's go ahead and hit continue into the continue and then we can always put in a message box and like I said this is going to be the first setup. We're, we're going to eventually strip this out but at least this will give you an idea on what to do. So let's go ahead and get in here and it's as simple as this. If, oh, you know what? No, it isn't as simple as <laughs> Because we gotta really re rename this. I don't wanna name it radio button one. I'm going to call it, um, I wanna call it grade type, but I don't wanna call these both grade types. So um, let's go ahead and just change this to RB grade type so that we know it. Um, create type test so that we know what it is and I'm going to do I'm going to do the same thing for this create type homework if we do that let's go ahead back into the compute section and I Let's go back to the if statement that I wanted to write, and I'm going to say if, let's see, RB grade type, and this is the nice thing about autocomplete is that you don't, um, you don't have to type everything out, so you can create really long variable names, and it, and it doesn't drive you nuts every time you mistype it. So I'm going to do grade type test, and then dot checked tab. That will basically what that says is if it's checked, this is true. And we can put a statement in there like message box. I'm sure you guys have heard me say this before. I'm not a big fan of message boxes unless you're giving a warning or something that you seriously need to get the people's attention with. But for the setup or for debugging purposes, they work pretty well. A little annoying, but pretty well. But we're gonna, we're gonna say about are you sure it's a test? And we don't care. Like I said, this is more of a placeholder for later, so we're gonna do that. Now you could go with an else here, or you could do an else if, and maybe this would be the safer because as you know, we might later want to put projects down there. So we might want to build on this. So I'm gonna do RB and then grade test homework. Again, checked, make sure that's correct because that turns it into a Boolean. And we can message box this again. And we're going to put this right there. Are you sure, sure that it is a homework? Now, when we run this, oops, it gives me an error because, oh, I'm sorry. It, <laughs> it's, it's obvious. Uh, I did not put the else if. I did an else. See, when you have an else, you don't, what you're saying is catch the rest. Who cares what the condition is? Um, the else if will allow me to put a condition in there and now this should work fine. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I hit test, 
that gives me a radio button uh, selection and then let's go ahead and put some numbers in here it doesn't have to be bit they don't have to be big or correct at this point but what we want to do is make sure it's going to tell me is a test well done are you sure this is that is a that is a test a text maybe I should rewrite re it how about the homework let's test that one out too well done oops are you sure that is a homework all right so everything's good except for the fact that I can't spell test And that's essentially how you would hook this radio button up. Now this radio button actually has meaning. And in fact, you could even put this on the radio button so that as soon as you clicked it, you could ask, are you sure that's a test? Now that's going to be annoying to the user, but in some cases it might be warranted. Like it might be a warning like, if you do this, all your data will be lost. Or something, something like that. If you're making a program like that, that's going to delete things or you know or end your game or, or end your application um, if you close out now no nothing will be saved Th those are all good so we did that now let's go ahead and go to the, ch the check boxes and do something similar but before I move on to the um, the excuse me the list boxes I want to go back to the check boxes the check boxes which we deleted here <laughs> Um, work the same way. They have the same exact properties, except they can be multiple can be turned on as the radio button. So the radio buttons, you can say, are, are they checked? Dot checked. Um, the check boxes is dot checked, and that will re re return the same boolean, true or false. Yes, it's true if it is checked. False if it isn't checked. But what we want to do now is go into our list boxes. So let's go in to the the um, check boxes, and they are already given names implicitly because we had to put them into the collection. We might want to just change this though first, the uh, the actual name of the list box. So we'll call it LB grade type. Now, when we go into the compute section, here we can use a switch. And this is, look at the beauty of this switch. I am going to steal directly from here. And I'm going to put it down here. And then strip it out. Because really, what we have here is we only need two things. And we'll leave a default there, just in case. It's always good to, I'd rather have um, two things in a default explain two thing two different possibilities than just two just one thing in a default because I always want to make sure that I catch an error with the default if not um, in fact let's go ahead and write this error has occurred I need spell check on this <laughs> okay all right so um, in this case though we're not worried about the grade what we're worried about is that list box so what we have to do is kind of create a string let's call it um, so it's a new variable we could put this at the top in fact generally this 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 is getting a lot a little out of hand uh, later on believe it or not I have a lesson just on cleaning up your code so I'm gonna leave this a little sloppy for the moment uh, so I'm gonna call the string and we're gonna call it grade type because remember we haven't used this variable yet and I'm gonna say equal don't worry about the squiggly lines because right now it's saying you haven't set it equal to anything so let's see let's set it equal to something and what do we call this R let me type in. We're going to say RB. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It was list box. List box. Grade type. Actually, that's what we want to set it equal to. So let's do grade type. In fact, let's just go ahead and be lazy and put it all on the same line. Equal to LB grade type. Dot selected item that to string which is 
is kind of funny. I always find funny because it, it is already in string format, but you actually do have to convert it here to string because what it wants to throw back is a number. What number inside here? So if you think about it this way, um, a lot of times they'll say test is zero, homework is one. So you could just throw that back, but let's actually use the word that exists in there. I think that kind of makes more sense, right? Okay, so uh, now that we have this set, we can use this gray type right here as that. And we're going to say, you chose a test. Reason being, I'm going to put this um, a little bit different from our original message box. And I'm going to say, you chose a work. You chose homework. Now, as you can see, we're getting tons of squiggly lines here. The reason, or the biggest reason, well, besides the non quotes <laughs> is that these guys remember our characters but we don't want to do that right so you can do this now by taking that gray type and matching it to our case and in this case our case is going to be what was a test and let's make sure because it is case sensitive so let's go ahead and put the big T in there Later on, we'll show you how to, how to ignore uh, case sensitivity. But right now, we want to do this. And remember, using going back and using double quotes would be great. So I'm going to do homework. And that should wrap it up. So let's give this a try now. And we're going to pick test. Again, don't worry about your numbers here. Come see me. You chose a test. Homework. Come see me. Nice work. You chose homework. Interesting. Oh, actually, no, it didn't. It didn't add it on. We didn't. We didn't put the right one in there. Uh, I. Well, actually, I just added the wrong piece, um, and I didn't delete. Okay. So you chose homework. Should have worked, and we didn't get any error occurs. And it's again, it's up to you what you want to do, whether it's aesthetics or how you're going to add more to it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whatever you feel comfortable with, you can go work with.